Let's see. Alrighty, guys. Um, who here is familiar with the uh, Hare Krishnas? Anybody here? Yeah, 14, 15, 20. Yeah, quite a lot of people. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Um, so the Hare Krishnas, they, um, they do follow the Bhagavad Gita. Um, if you've ever been out and you've seen someone just handing out copies of the Bhagavad Gita, um, it's probably a Hare Krishnan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, me too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um so I'd like to talk a little bit about um about the history and just who the Hare Krishnans are. Um and then once we once we get through that we can actually have a bit of an experience here together. Um so um the Hare Krishnan movement, it's actually called the International Society of Krishna consciousness. So rather than believing that Krishna is this God figure, instead we look at it as being a kind of consciousness. Um, Buddhism is often talked about in a similar way, the Buddha mind or Buddha consciousness pervading in all things, um, not necessarily linked to the, to the being Buddha. Um, it's, it's known in short, ISKCON, I-S-K-C-O-N, also known as the Hare Krishna Movement or just as the Hare Krishnas. Now, this group was founded in 1966 in New York City by A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Um, if you've ever seen any quotes that are attributed to A.C., a lot of these are floating on uh, around, um, they're actually referring to Swami Prabhupada. Um, this is the largest branch of a form of what's referred to as Hinduism. Again, um, it wouldn't claim being a part of this branch, uh, being a branch of Hinduism itself, but what's collectively known as Hinduism to the West. Um, it's the largest branch of, of what's known as the Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Um, and whenever you see this term Vaishnavism, um, this is referring to um, uh, devotion to Lord Vishnu. Again, Krishna was an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Um, and this style of Hinduism has been practiced since the 16th century. So it has ancient roots, even though the movement of Hare Krishna is relatively new, again, um, since about the middle of the 20th century. It was formed to spread the practice of what's called bhakti yoga. So you might know there are many different styles of yoga that are out there. Um, there's, um, uh, you know, there's asana yoga, as, as we practice in most of our studios, uh, pranayam yoga, um, and this is one style, bhakti yoga, which is yoga of devotion. So bhaktas dedicate their thoughts and actions toward pleasing the Supreme Lord Krishna, the Supreme Lord Vishnu. They de dedicate their whole life to this. They, found they find such joy in this kind of dedication. They say that one's original consciousness and the goal of life is pure love of God Krishna. Now, again, we don't want to look at this religion as being a kind of dualism, as it being du dualistic, that there's us and there's God. We are a part of God as much as anything else is. There's this joke that's kind of told about how in the West, if you say that you're God, you're stoned to death or called a blasphemer. But in the East, if you say that you're God, your friends will pat you on the back and say, finally, you've realized. Awesome. Thank God. Um, you know, you are not something that's separate from God, but you are one piece or you are a part of God's totality. So there's a chant. If you've ever seen the Hare Krishna's chant, has anybody in here ever actually chanted with Hare Krishna's before? Okay, cool, excellent, yeah, some of us, great, okay. Um, so the Hare Krishna chant, um, they spend um, much of their work is devoted again to um, this devotion to Lord, to Lord Vishnu, to Krishna, um, and this chant is called the Maha Ma Mantra, or the Great Mantra. Um, and it's from the Upanishads, which is the last text of the Vedas, uh, which is this, again, this massive scriptural text um, ranging in its, in its um, authorship dates from, from uh, sometime around the 5th century BCE all the way up until around the 1400s, written over a period of about 2,000 years. The Upanishads is the last written chapter of the Vedas. This chant is made up of three different words. So the first one is Hare, which means 
He who removes illusion. Now, I actually want to say all of these words carry so many different definitions. The idea really is that in Sanskrit, you cannot properly translate any Sanskrit word. The meaning of any of these terms transcends meaning that can be expressed in English. So these are kind of the closest uh, estimations to what might be meant by these terms. Um, Hare is also sometimes translated to blissful energy. The words Krishna and Rama are both different names for or incarnations of Lord Vishnu, uh, which again is this effervescent life force pervading in all things. Um, so what I'd like to do here is guide us through a bit of this chanting. Is that cool with everybody? I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Um, so um, what, what the Hare Krishnas do... Um, either in private or in public, they chant this Hare Krishna chant. Um, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What there, what one one um, translation of this might be um, devotion to the blissful energy of Lord Vishnu, or um, opening myself up to the blissful energy that appears when I accept and allow myself to fully embrace the culmination of all things in existence. When I fully open myself up to the truth of reality, to its full scope, to the full scope of reality, I, I recognize this intense bliss so maybe everybody could repeat after me the first word here, Hare. Hare. Krishna. Krishna. Good. And the last word, Rama. Rama. Uh, I'm, I'm not a Hare Krishnan. I'm not trying to convert any of you. I think that this will just be a fun, a fun little practice for us to try together, okay? Um, so what, what I'll do, um, I'll chant... Um, uh, I'll chant, uh, but before we actually start this chant, what I think we can do is just all om together. So um, many of us uh, probably have omed at some point in the past, and om is considered to be a an audible representation of this effervescent force that pervades in all things. And we can begin with what's called a sea of ohms. So a sea of ohms is there's no real number to the, num to, to the times that we will chant the word om. And we don't even have to all be oming together. Some of us have small lungs, some of us have larger lungs. So rather than trying to start and stop all at the same time, we'll just notice our own breath. We'll see how long we allow this om to go on for. And without needing to match to anyone else, we'll take a breath when we need to, and we'll come back in with an om. And it will create this sea of oms. After a few rounds of this, I'll begin to chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. When you feel called, you can join me in this chant. After a few rounds of this, we might do this, uh, I guess we'll just feel it out all together, guys. I'll feel you, you'll feel me. Uh, after a little while... <laughs> After a little while, um, we can return back to, to Om, going back to a sea of Om. When you feel as though it's time for you to stop chanting Om, we can stop. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll close the evening. Does that sound good to everybody? Any questions about what we're about to do? One more time. Where to buy the Bhagavad Gita? Um, in, in Vietnam, no. But there are um, hundreds of free translations that you can find online uh, for free that are meant to be free. Uh, you can illegally downs download some of the ones that you're supposed to pay for if you want to. You can buy lots of different kinds of, lots of different translations on Kindle. Um, there are lots of abridged versions. Um, I would really recommend one that comes with a commentary. You can read the original if you want to, but a lot of the um, more subtle symbology will be lost because we, we don't live in India at the time when this is written, so we don't know a lot of the symbols. Um, yeah, okay, all right. So once again, we'll start with an om. Breathe whenever you want. And then I'll begin this chant. Join whenever you want. 
We'll chant as long as we want to this chant, and then we'll move back to Om, and uh, into the Sea of Oms, and then we'll stop whenever we want. Okay. Thank you, guys. So first, um, we can all just relax in our bodies. We can notice the places where our feet touch the floor. We can notice the place where our buttocks touches the seat. We can notice all of the places where our skin touches the air and touches our clothing. We can notice all of the sounds in the space around us. And as distractions begin to arise in the space around us, as distractions begin to arise in our own mind, rather than pushing away any of these distractions or feeling as though they don't belong, we can just practice allowing. Just practice letting in. And we can begin to notice the physical sensation of the breath. Noticing the gentle expansion of the belly, or perhaps the rib cage, or perhaps the chest. No need to control the breath right now, just noticing the breath exactly as it is. And as the mind begins to wander, it's okay. Wandering minds are perfectly natural, and we can just use this as an opportunity to practice returning back to the breath. Diving deeply beneath the shields, we keep up. Releasing any tension in the temples and in the eyes, the nose. Releasing from the lips, the tongue, the throat, the shoulders. Releasing in the biceps, in the forearms, the wrists, the palms, the fingers. Relaxing, melting. Releasing from the collarbones and from the chest. from the rib cage and the abdomen, from the hips, the groin, the buttocks, the thighs, releasing. The shins, the calves, the ankles, the heels, 
the feet, the toes. We'll all take one deep breath in together and one deep exhale together. And breathing in, preparing for OM. Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. So that is it for us tonight. Um, I really appreciate everybody coming out here. It's really uh, such a such a privilege every week to get to do this with you guys. Um, we do this every Wednesday night. It's not always religion or uh, chanting-based. Um, we explore a pretty wide gamut of things, so I hope to see you back here again. Uh, there were a lot of people that helped with this together. Laura Hardy-Stewart, Jordan Bannock, David Fryer, Andrew Ferrang, Killian Blay, and myself, all really thankful for giving you all this opportunity. Thank you. Um, if you want, this is all going to be up on YouTube. You can certainly check us out there. I hope to see you there. Um, I'll put up our upcoming events here. I'm going to turn on the lights. I love you all. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.